I want you to think about something. Every day, you may go to the store, you may go to work, pretty much everywhere that you go, you are seeing pretty much things that are of sin. Things that don't really pertain to God. So you are constantly being exposed with things that don't pertain to God. Constantly. So let's say that you listen to a song every day, all day, every day. You are pretty much, you are going to know that song, the lyrics to that song very well because you listen to it so much. When you are exposed to sin every day, pretty much all day, it is going to be much more difficult to fight it off. Let's say that you are trying to do more things of God. You want your mind on God. You want to stop sinning. You want to think of God's ways. But you are being exposed to sin all day, every day. Even if you are not doing the sins, you are being exposed to sinful things. For instance, this rap music, horrible. This secular music, these TV shows, even if you aren't trying to watch any TV shows, when you walk into a store or somewhere else, it may be on. That secular music, when you go to the mall or something, they may have this rap, hip hop, whatever music on. Even if you don't want to listen to it, when you hear it, it is going to have an effect on you. So you are being exposed to sin pretty much all day, every day, depending on what you do and where you go. So you want your mind to be on God. You want to think of God's ways. You want to think of his rules and regulations, but you are exposed to sin all day, every day. This is why I continue to say, you have to read your Bible more. You have to pray more. I know that you may be upset with yourself with sinning and you may believe that you can't stop sinning but if you look at things for what they are and somewhat use common sense you are going to understand why things are the way that they are. You are exposed to sin all day every day. So if you aren't reading your Bible and praying, of course you are going to be prone to do sin. What if we were not exposed to sin all day, every day? Let's say that we all were exposed to things of God all day, every day. 
it would be effortless much more to obey God. But since sin is so abundant in this world and it was made to be that way, it is kind of like People minister much more towards things of demons and Satan much more than things of God. At least with demons and Satan, they know that, hey, if we want people to stay in sin, we have to minister to people things that pertain to us so they always have secular or sinful things in your face or in your ear every day all day this happens always but listen Demons are always fighting against you. So we need to refresh ourselves with things of God every day. We need to refresh ourselves with things of God every day. We need to eliminate things that pertain to demons and Satan out of our lives. We have to. Because I continue to receive emails and messages from people telling me that why or they may ask why can't they stay out of sin? And the answer is simple. Get rid of the things that don't promote God. And when you say it, or when I say it in that terms there, it makes things much easier. This female contacted me, and I think she is really young. I don't know. And she was telling me, Kevin, I know that what I am watching is wrong, but I enjoy it so much. I get tempted to watch it even though I know that it is wrong. We can't go to stuff that is wrong. Let me say this. There are some things that I would like to watch. I wish <laughs> that I could play on my PlayStation 4 playing video games. I wish I could play all day, <laughs> every day, like I used to. or watch anime all day long and watch any type of anime and listen to some other music. I know that if I go back to those things, we have to understand that Demons are very subtle. They may get you into doing small things, but those small things are going to transfer to larger things. The next thing you know it, you are doing things that you did not even expect. Now, it is much harder much more difficult for you to get out of sin now. 
So you need to separate. Separate yourself from people. Separate people who don't want to serve God. Separate yourself from anything that is going to cause you to sin. Music, TV shows, and stuff like that. Satan and demons know that, hey, if I want to keep people in sin, I have to put my trash in their face all day, every day. And that is what he does. Hence, this is why so many people are doing the things that they are doing now. Satan knows that he has to place trash in your face all day, every day, in order for you to follow it. This is what he does. So why do you believe that you don't have to do things or involve yourself in things that pertains to God all day, every day? Why do you believe that you don't have to do that? Going to church only on Sunday is not going to work for you. Going to church on Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's all, that is not going to work for you. You need to give much time, much time to God. Praying two minutes before you fall to sleep is not going to cut it. Reading the Bible for two minutes or whatever is not going to cut it. If sin is being exposed to you all day, every day, why do you believe that you can give God seconds or minutes and believe that, hey, everything is fine? No! You have to give God much time. If I did not do what I do now, surely I would be back into sin. Surely. So when people come to me and say, Kevin, I keep on falling into sin, I know exactly why. Because you aren't giving God much time. If a person is giving God much time, praying all day, reading the Bible all day, fasting and stuff like that, if each person was to do it, I would have to say that 99% of those people, or probably, let me say, 95% at least, at least, are going to be serving God properly. It is your time. You can't give God pennies. You can't. You need to give him much time. When you were in sin, you gave demons like, <laughs> pretty much all your time. Almost everything that you involved yourself in was pretty much demonic. So you stayed in sin. Okay, if you want to be right with God, you have to give God more time. Well, Kevin, I got kids and I have to work, you know, I have to brush my hair, I have to shower. Listen. You were doing those things while you are in sin. But still, you still manage to give demons your time, even though you are so busy. There are many things that you can do that pertains to God. There are audio Bibles. You can pray while you work. You can teach other people about God. There is no excuse. 
It doesn't matter how busy you are. Listen, if there is something that you really want to do, you are going to find time. I know for myself, there was something that I wanted to do. And that day, I believe I only had, this was back when I was in sin. I did not, I forget how much sleep I had. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, but not much sleep. Maybe two hours, I forget. And I was so, so, so tired because I was doing other things as well. But I wanted to do everything that I wanted to do that day. So even though <laughs> I should have went to sleep, I still did what I wanted to, even though I was busy, even though it was really hard trying to do what I did that day. I did it anyway because I wanted to do it. So I found time even at the cost of being really sleepy and not being able to focus well and my Lord. If there is something that you want to do and it is of your interest, you are going to do it. There is this woman that I contact every so often and she may not be doing everything right, but she has a strong desire for God. Really, really strong desire for God. And as it seems, she is willing to do what it takes to get her life right with God. So I know from what she is showing me and from what she is saying to me, so I am matching up her words with her actions. She is proving to me that she is serious about God. There are people that may come to me and say, Kevin, what do I have to do to change? I tell them, and many of them, <laughs> I can tell that they are not going to do it. Or they continue to ask the same questions when they know what to do, but they try to find this easy route. The easiest route is to do it. <laughs> My Lord, my Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. You have to give God more time. That is going to solve your issues. The more time you give to God, I am telling you, my Lord, everything is going to make so much more sense. If you are, if demons are always, if they have their junk in your face all day long, don't you know that they are fighting against the thoughts that you may think of God, trying to get rid of those thoughts. So if they are fighting against you all the time, my Lord, it is smart to refresh yourself every day. I don't care how long you have been a Christian. You can be a Christian for 50 years. If you are not refreshing yourself every day with things of God, you are going to fall short. You are going to fall short. A constant refreshing is necessary each day. It is necessary. It is one thing if demons did not have their trash, their music, 
their TV shows and all that junk out every day. That would be different, but demons are coming in hard. They are not playing. They are attacking constantly. So if they are attacking constantly, we need to refresh ourselves constantly as well. I pray that this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.